Hi, Emma. Welcome to the show. Emma is based in Brisbane. She has two kids, 12, and then there's a bit of a gap, and then there's a two-year-old, and she's a hairdresser, so she's a busy yeah. working mum. Um, she, you know, her two-year-old keeps her, her busy. How old are you? You're in your 40s, hey? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm 40, 43 in March, so. 43. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, close to me. I'm 41. Just turned 41. Yeah. So, Emma, um, tell us about your history. Like, you know, tell us about all the dumb shit that you did in the past, like like me, all the diets and the crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, I've tried pretty much every diet. I've spent so much money on anything and everything, thinking that I was learning and evolving and changing. I've done the shakes. I've done um, fasting. Uh, I've done, done all sorts of things. Um, None of it has worked for very long and none of it has actually been very enjoyable either. So um, I had a hysterectomy uh, last year. I think it was April last year, so coming up to a year soon. Uh, And then when I was recovering, I come across your Instagram and I was like, wow, okay, I'd love to eat all these foods that I enjoy and lose weight. That would be great. But I've done all the, um, I did the fasting. I did the, um, was it 1,000 calories a day? I couldn't even actually get through that Uh, because I was like, wow, I'm so hungry, so, so hungry. It's uh, totally unsustainable. Like you'd just be so hangry. Oh, yeah, I just, and it was funny, I'd I'd do well in the morning and then come the afternoon, 3 o'clock, I'd be like, oh, my gosh, and just. (laughs) Chocolate, lollies. That's one thing, actually, this program, I was just talking to my partner the other night, this has taught me that how I like to do things, what my body actually likes to do, what Mm. my body likes. And Mm. it's been really good fun, actually. (laughs) Really good fun. So when you came across the ad, you know, what made you join the program and what were you hoping to achieve? Uh, Well, the first thing that made made me want to join was uh, the food. I was like, yes, I do want to eat sugar. My body needs sugar. Like, I love sugar. I want to eat carbs. I have um, I had gestational diabetes through the second pregnancy. Absolute nightmare trying to get through that. I controlled it quite well with food, um, obviously, but I could, I had to, I was insulin dependent from 12 weeks for that one. Um, just the cutting of, just working out those carbs. One night I could have three shell pasta things for dinner three I don't mean three spoonfuls I mean literally one two three pieces of shell because that's all I could have with my mints because it would just ruin my diabetes so um when I saw the carbs I was like yes I want to have carbs I need the energy I've done keto oh my gosh I was so tired I just besides the fact I, I didn't mind some of the food but I was like I've got no energy absolutely no energy whatsoever so the orange juice, like I've got fruit trees, I've got orange trees. I just felt that I couldn't eat or consume them because I wasn't allowed to. So I've, I've got all these fruit trees now that I can utilise, I can use. I'm really looking forward to winter, actually. We should have a good crop on that one. Um, so that's what actually pushed me was the food because I was like, I don't want to be restricted. I want to eat the foods I love. And yeah, why, why and lose weight. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. That's right. And it's it's so freeing because I just eat my food that I enjoy and I'm losing weight. It's great. How long have you been in the program now? Uh, so I started, I uh, did the challenge in October last year and I think I've been in the win at life for, I think it's 12 weeks now. I can't remember. Um, so what would be, oh, I don't know, because it'd be longer than that. So I think it's been like 18 weeks 18 now. weeks. Yeah, I think that's yeah, about right. Including, including the four-week um, challenge as well. So um, so this morning I weighed in and I'm 17.5 down. So, wow, which is 17.5 kilos. And what did you start at? What was your starting weight? Uh, my starting weight was 98.10. Wow, amazing. The heaviest, like I, that was heavier than me being pregnant, actually. Yeah. Yep. So... I lost a little bit of weight after the pregnancy and then it just packed on. And then after the hysterectomy, I just couldn't stop it until I found your program and then it stopped going on. And then when I actually joined the program and got the coaching and everything, that's when it really started to just fall off. 
amazing. <laughs> and so apart from the weight loss, which is amazing, what are some of the other improvements that you've seen? Oh, definitely energy. Definitely a lot more energy, uh, which is great because I need it with a two-year-old uh, being nearly 43 with a two-and-a-half-year-old is tiring. Uh, energy, uh, definitely the my cycles changed. Every two weeks I was before. And even after I had a partial hysterectomy, so I still do know when, you know, my cycle is coming. And that was every two weeks. Well, that's extended now on four, which is great. Um, so, oh gosh, um, my sleeping's a lot better. Uh, but also I think one of the main things, I just had it recently where I had two weeks of hell with my daughter with nightmares and waking me up like so many times in the middle of the night. She wasn't waking up, but I was because she was screaming. And I was so exhausted, but I could still get through the day because of the food. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not racing off to eat that block of chocolate, you know, first up in the morning because I need the energy. <laughs> so definitely my brain, I feel like it's so funny. I try and explain this to people. My brain's not foggy anymore. I'm enjoying life like I feel like I'm back it's it's weird it's a weird feeling <laughs> oh it's amazing no I agree with you 100% it really it just gives you energy it's so life-changing um my yeah. skin my skin's better as well like my skin is the best that it's been in a long time so oh yeah. lot, lots and lots of things I can't really say about my hair because um I bleach my hair all the time so <laughs> Your I'm always okay. changing my hair um, but no, just the, just the feeling of happiness as well. Like I, I feel so much happier. No definitely. more binge eating? No, I haven't. Um, the only time that there's been a slight stray from the diet is when I've been out. Um, I went to a wedding or I've been at someone's house for a barbecue. Um, it's a bit more difficult to log those types of things. But I haven't, I haven't felt the need to. There's still chocolate in the house because, you know, I do have a 12-year-old who's into the chocolate. Um, there's still lollies and stuff here, but I don't really feel the need to eat them because I'm already eating lollies and I'm already eating chocolate. <laughs> it is. Oh, it is it, it's, it's amazing once you actually nourish your body and eat enough, how yes. that really um, improves the binge eating. And how much, how many calories are you eating now? Uh, 2,140, which was such a shock because when I came in, I came in at 1,800 because that's what I'd started with with your program when I first got it. And then they put me up to 2,000 and I was like, okay. And then they put me up to 2,140 and the weight was still coming off. Amazing. So great. <laughs> I, I even said to my partner, oh, my gosh, are, are they for real? They're putting my calories up. And then it, I'm still losing weight. So good. Great. So good. I love it. And um, what have you enjoyed most about the program? The food. <laughs> The food, I just want to be able to eat the things I love. I'm eating, you know, all these diets don't eat fruit, don't have orange juice, don't have salt, don't do this. It's like, oh, only eat a salad. I love a sal I love a good salad. Don't get me wrong, I love a good salad. But it's not enough to sustain me later on, half an hour later. I'm starving, absolutely starving. But that just every day I wake up and I'm excited about what I'm going to eat. Like sometimes I've gone to parties and I've taken my own food with me because I know they're not going to cook like when I want to eat. And I get a bit hungry if I'm past it. I'm like, yeah, I'm starting to die on the spot because I need my food. So I've brought food with me. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm really excited because I want to eat my pork roast with my vegetables and whatnot for dinner. I'm excited to eat that. I love it. That's what I love about it. I guess also the whole point is I love weightlifting. I love weights. I don't get a lot of time to do that, but I am working around it and getting my exercise in and also just having a little, just a nice casual walk outside, which it's funny because I said this to my partner the other day too. I remember when, when my daughter was born, I was like, right, we need to go for a walk and we need to keep the pace up and we need to keep them. Hurry up, Hayden. Hurry up, Hayden. Hurry up. But I don't have to do that now because, you know, kids, they're like, they're stopping, they're picking stuff up. It's like, oh, my gosh. There's no like, brisk walking. There's no, no power walking. And I'm, now it's like, just do whatever you want, kids. I'm just like, yeah, let's just cruise. And my daughter just walks. And if she wants to pick flowers, that's fine. We're just relaxing. And yeah. I think that's one of the things too because exercise is now enjoyable because I'm not like, oh, my gosh, quick, 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 
we've got to get this stuff done, get the heart rate up. And so that's, I'm enjoying that as well, but mainly the food. <laughs> I love it. And what about, what have you found challenging in the program? Um, what have I found challenging? Probably um, more so trying to get my workouts in have been a real issue for me because I don't have a setup here at home. I've I've got it in my bedroom, so I don't have an actual room that I can shut away from my daughter. So that has been an issue. I have to work out, pack it away before she gets out of bed, otherwise she's coming in and she's playing with it. And I know that eventually she'll drop a weight on her foot. She's got her own weights, but my daughter, she I've got videos of her hanging off my Smith machine like a monkey, you know, she's hanging off upside down. I've got to be able to pack things away. So I've now worked out that I, and it has been really working for me, I do uh, six days a week. I just do three exercises a day. A short session. Yep. It just fits in with your lifestyle. Exactly. I was finding that if I was doing just three days a week, I was missing exercises because Mm. my daughter's woke up. She's now in a bed, obviously, so she can get herself out. Um, There's been a couple of times she's broken in and I'm halfway through a workout. (laughs) And it's like, well, then that's ruined. And I'm like, well, you know what? Why don't I just finish it off the next day? So now I've just, I just do three. It's all packed up. I do have plans to have my own room down the track, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, so that's probably been the most challenging thing that I've found, but I just work around it now. Perfect. So then that's the key. I think it's about, you know, when you join our program, we customize the program to make it fit to your lifestyle. Yeah. So if you can do six days, a half an hour, and that's what you can do, that's what you do. If you can do three days, four days, but that's really like the uh, resourcefulness and asking yourself what you can do given the time that you have. And how does it fit in with the rest of the family? Um, uh, no problems at all. So when I first started, my partner didn't, he was working away. So he was only here for uh, like one night. So I would work out at night time, which was great because my daughter would be in bed and she's not getting back out of bed till the next morning. So that was great. My partner then came home and he's now working in Brisbane. So I had to kind of change it up a little bit. And I was talking to April about it. It's up at four o'clock in the morning. So now I do my workouts at four o'clock in the morning. Um, well, not at four. I get up at four and then have, you know, a food and whatnot. Um, so then I'm done with my exercise by the time she gets out of bed at 6, 6.30. So I've just swapped that around in that sense. Um, my partner's pretty wrapped because he loves the food. <laughs> so one of, the, one of the things that I've really found that's worked for me is because I can just work out my own plan and I don't have to stick to what people tell me to eat. Um, I do a roast uh, one day, like a big roast. Then the next day, so, so that'll be like roast and veggies or something like that for dinner, say. That'll also be my meat for the next day for myself. And then dinner, I'll make it a stir fry or something like that the next night. So then I'm not having to spend ages in the kitchen because I don't have time to spend ages in the kitchen. Um, So, of course, my partner never complains. I don't think, I'm trying to think of the last time we ordered takeaway, actually. So, like, I know that boys might have had takeaway one night, but I've always got my meals prepped. I prep them at night time once my daughter goes to bed. Mm. My little headset on, I start watching the show or listening more it. so than watching. It's great. I put an ebook on or, you know, want an audio book or something. And then I just start prepping my food. Half the time, I'm not even looking at the app because I already know. I already know what I'm going to be You've got a plan here. I already oh, know that. You're amazing. So organized. I love sorted. it. I love it. And um, yeah. Emma, what it, would you? Oh, sorry. You <laughs> I mean, it's probably one of the only programs that has done well with you know, my partner because yeah. he's enjoying the food too. So, which is And great. that's important. It's important to be family friendly and all. So yeah. many of the mums say that to me, like the, the recipes are really family friendly and easy and quick. So no, that's, that's so good and so important. And what would you say to a woman who was sitting on the fence about joining? Uh, I'd say do it, do it because you're worth it really. Mm. Like it's, it's so funny. Why do us mums and I guess people in general, why do we always put ourselves last? Why do we put everyone else above us? Why, you know, like at Christmas time, I bought something for my son and I was like, you know, 99 ducks, no no worries, I'll pay that. And then I went to buy something for myself and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not paying $80 for that. And I'm like, why? Why? Why don't I deserve to be put first? And it's so freeing. I'd be, I've, I, my sister's actually looking at joining as well. So I've told lots of people, I'm like, why don't you want to just eat the food you want every day for the rest of your life? 
Why do we need to be, I hate being told what to do. So I think this is very freeing because I'm like, excellent, I can do what I want. Oh, so true though. But it's about, you know, finding those foods that work for your body that you enjoy and it's easy to, it's easy to stick to. So yes. I'm right there with your sister. And um, do you think you would have achieved the same results without the coaching and support? No, no. I When I first uh, got the basics package was right after the hysterectomy. I was lying in bed reading it, um, put it into action straight away. Um, when I actually did, the, look, so the weight just stopped going on, but I wasn't, um, obviously I wasn't exercising either so because I had the hysterectomy. But once I started with the coaching, you know, there was a few things, just a few little things were tweaked that I'd, I would never even have thought of. And I thought, oh, wow, okay. And I even said to my partner, oh, my gosh, okay, she wants me to do this. Okay, rodeo. And great, excellent, got results immediately. I think one of the things that I do love too is I love, every Sunday I check in. <laughs> I do my measurements and I check in and I give a rundown on, on everything. And it's, I don't know, it's something that I kind of look forward to. Every Sunday. <laughs> oh, I love it. Things, isn't it really? No, it's good. I think the, the accountability is so good. You know, I mean, I believe in coaching. I've always invested in coaching, not only for training and nutrition, but also in our business. And it just, I love mm. to learn and be held accountable. And it really, it, it, when you commit and you pay, you do yes. the work. You're yes. in, you know, exactly. like you're committed. So, no, I 100% agree with that. And, you know, before we finish up, is there any other advice you want to give to women who are listening? Oh, gosh, any other advice? Oh, do it. Like, really, it's mm. it's the most freeing thing that I've ever done. And it, it and it's funny because, okay, yes, you've got to log your food. Um. I don't find that an issue. I love sitting down once a week because I pretty much see the same, kind of like the same things every every day for the week and then change it up here and there. But just do it because it's oh, it's so nice to wake up and know, you know what, okay, I've had a bad night with my daughter. I haven't got the energy to exercise, but you know what, my food's going to be one today, like and every day, every single day because it's just, it's so nice. I had a whole bowl of cherries the other morning for breakfast. Oh, I love, we're, we're going to get into the cherries for breakfast as well. Yeah, I love them too. I love them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, I just, I say to everyone that, that talks to me about it, uh, they're like, oh, what are you doing? You know, because obviously, you know, you can really see the changes. I'm like, just people do it. Why do you want to be unhappy every day when it comes to food? Why don't you just, and, and le- the learning that, the things that I've learned about my body I've learned so much about my body and what my body actually really likes and doesn't like. And I think that's one of the things that has made a big difference too, where before I would have just been eating, not knowing what would irritate me and what wouldn't. But don't you want a good night's sleep? Don't you want to be relaxed? Doing. That's that's all I can say. Just do it. Do it. I've actually worked out what I need to save up now for um the next one so that when the time rolls around again that money's already there I don't have to worry about trying to find it anywhere every week just put that aside already done we'll already have to, we should interview you at 12 months I reckon it's been 18 yep. weeks look at the incredible results you've received yeah. in 18 weeks imagine where you're going to be in 12 months we'll do a little we'll do another one in, in my I gosh know. I might have my own little setup I might have <laughs> my own room I'm at him I'm like get that shed built man Oh, I know. It's really good having a home gym. It's really good. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming on and just sharing that. Um, You're just doing so amazingly and hopefully it will, you know, give women that little nudge to, you know, invest in themselves and change their life because it is really, I think it's just life changing. Uh, Totally life changing. Yep. I'm very glad I found the whole program. It's great. Love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, uh, Emma, and I'll chat to you in the program. Yep. Wonderful. Thank you.